Oh gosh. Oh, hi friends. I'm so sorry. I don't feel good. I have a Badger Scout meeting tonight. I just don't think I'm gonna be able to make it. Oh. <coughs> oh, well, you guys have fun without me, okay? Bye. Let's sing a song called Unstoppable God. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing. And I think you will see in today's Bible story just how mighty and powerful our God is. So let's sing his praise. Heaven thundered and the world was born. Life begins and ends in the dust you form faith commanded and the mountains move fear is losing ground to our hope in you unstoppable God let your glory go on and on impossible things in your name they shall be done Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. The Bible Basics. God's word is true for all people, for all places, and for all times. The Bible has 66 books written by 40 authors over 1,500 years that fit together to tell one story about who God is and how much He loves you. Nice, nice job. job! Let's learn this month's memory verse. It's from 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. And let me teach you some motions to go with it. For speak, Lord, we're going to do the sign for Lord. So we're going to make an L shape with our hand. And then buckle your seatbelt, Lord. And then your servant hears. So you can put your hands by your ears. Try it with me. Speak, Lord, for your servant hears. 1 Samuel 3, verse 9. Great job. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Nice job. Hey, Melissa. What you doing? Oh, hey, Mary. I'm trying to figure out what to do for today's meeting. I mean, do we just cancel? We can't cancel. Everybody's on their way already. We have to figure something out. I mean, do we even have a badge ceremony? Oh, you mean because Borough Leader Julie isn't coming to the meeting today? Right! We've never been without our leader before! This is uncharted territory! I don't even have my cartography badge yet! Oh. Okay, look, unless we're working on our dizziness badge, you have got to stop pacing! Yes, yeah, sorry. Hey, you guys, did you hear about Borough Leader Julie? Oh, yeah, we were just talking about that. Any ideas about what we could do today? Well, we were working on our botany badge last time, so maybe we could start there. That's a great idea, Badger Beth. All right, Badgers, let's move out. Hooray for Badgers, hooray for Badgers. Someone in the crowd is shouting, hooray for Badgers. One, two, three, four, and there's one more. <gasps> oh, look! A golden threaded small winged warbler! That's another one for exotic bird bingo. Should we stop here to work on our botany badges? This looks like a great spot. Let's get to work, team. But how do we earn the botany badge? According to our field guide, we need to display a thorough knowledge of how plants grow and their uses. Well, we definitely know how plants grow. I mean, they need good soil. And water. And sunlight. But what about how they're used? I mean, plants have so many uses. How are we going to show all of them? Hey, I have an idea. What if we pick some flowers and make a bouquet for Borough Leader Julie? That way we can give it to her and earn our botany badge by showing our florist skills. That is a great idea, Badger Mary. Let's go, Badgers! Okay. Wait! Look, there's a sign that says no picking flowers. I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, who's going to miss just a few flowers? And think how much better Borough Leader Julie's going to be after she sees our beautiful bouquet that we picked for her. Are you guys sure about this? I mean, I... I... Nah, we'll be fine. Let's get picking. Oh, look at these. <gasps> oh, look at these. So pretty. Ooh, guys, come here. Look at this one. I've never seen a plant like this before. Ooh, I love the jagged edges. And the hint of red on the leaves. And look at the three pretty little leaves on each stem. How pretty. Why does this sound so familiar? I think I've heard of this plant before, but I just can't remember. Good find, Mary. Let's go, let's keep picking. Ooh, great job, everyone. This bouquet looks beautiful. Should we go deliver it to Borough Leader Julie? Sure, let's go. One day later. Hey, Melissa, are you itchy all over too? <laughs> yes! And I have these red spots everywhere. <gasps> Wait, I think I know what's happening. Aha! Uh -huh. Just as I suspected. I knew that that three-leaved red plant looked familiar. Poison, Poison ivy! So that's why the sign said no picking flowers. Uh, we really should have followed the rules. Well, how are we going to cure this skin problem? I don't want to stay itchy forever. Hey, you know, that reminds me of a Bible story. It's from the Old Testament, and it's about a man called Naaman. Oh, I think I know that one. It's in the book of 2 Kings in the Old Testament. Naaman was the commander of the whole army of the country of Aram. He was very rich. He had many servants, including a servant girl from Israel. Naaman and his family did not believe in God, but the little girl did. Even though Naaman was a commander of the army and very rich, he had a very big problem. He had a terrible disease called leprosy. Leprosy starts out as white spots on the skin, and then the white spots start becoming sorer. 
the spots would spread all over your body. And the worst part was there was no medicine that could make it better. No one wanted to be around someone with leprosy because they might get leprosy too. Naaman had to stay away from everyone. He couldn't be a soldier anymore and he couldn't be with his family. No one in the whole country of Aram knew how to help Naaman except the servant girl from Israel. She told Naaman about God and about a man named Elisha. Elisha was a prophet, which means he was a messenger from God. And sometimes God would do miracles through Elisha. Maybe Naaman could go to Israel and see Elisha. Naaman became very excited and decided to go to Israel. He had to travel a long way to get there. When he got to Elisha's house, Naaman sat outside and waited. A servant came outside and told Naaman that Elisha had a message for him. Elisha said, you should go and dip in the Jordan River seven times. If you do this, then the Lord will take away your leprosy and you will be well. Naaman was very angry. Didn't Elisha know that he was an important army commander? How dare Elisha tell him to go and wash in the dirty Jordan River? If he wanted to wash in the river, then he could have done that back in the country of Aram. Naaman was so angry that he started to head back for home. Please, sir, said Naaman's servants, we really want you to be well again. You will die if the leprosy does not go away. It would be an easy thing to wash in the Jordan River seven times. We've come such a long way. Why don't you try it? Naaman wanted his leprosy to go away too, so he went to the Jordan River. He went to the river and washed, then he washed again. He did this seven times, just as Elisha had said. Naaman came up out of the water and looked at his skin. The leprosy spots were gone. Naaman went straight back to Elisha's house. Naaman wanted to give Elisha all of the money, gold and silver and beautiful fabrics that he had brought from Aram but Elisha would not accept the gifts. He had not done this for money. He had told Naaman how to be healed because he wanted Naaman to know that God is real. Elisha, since I have been healed of my leprosy, I know that the God of Israel is real. From now on, I will worship the Lord, promised Naaman. Just as Naaman had an illness, we have a sickness too. It's called sin. Sin is when we love ourselves more than God and when we do the things that we want to do more than the things God wants us to do. We want to be the king of our lives instead of God. Sin separates us from God, but God loves us too much to be separated from him. So he sent Jesus to cure us from our sin problem. We don't need to wash ourselves in a river like Naaman to be healed. What God wants us to do is to put Jesus first in our lives and trust that he is God's son. When we do this, our sins are forgiven and we are completely healed. Let's see what you learned from today's Bible story. Is today's story from the Old Testament or the New Testament? Today's story is from the book of 2 Kings. That's in the Old Testament. Next one. What big problem did Naaman have? Did he have a toothache, leprosy, stomach ache, or broken bone? He had leprosy, which means he had sores all over his skin. Let's try another. Who told Naaman to wash in the Jordan River? Was it Elisha or Elijah? Those two names sound so similar, but it was a prophet named Elisha who told him to wash himself in the Jordan River seven times. Okay, last one. God loves us so much that he gave us a way to cure our sin problem. What is the only thing that can cure our sin? That's right, only Jesus can cure our sin. Thanks for showing me what you learned from this week's Bible story. See you next time. Hey, I have a question for you. Do you like to sing wherever you go? Boy, I sure do. And this song starts by saying, all my life, 
all I know, God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high or valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. Now I'm going to need your help to clap along during this song. So can you help me keep the beat? Why? Because I've got joy, joy, joy deep in my soul. So I will sing, sing, sing wherever I go. So let's worship together. All my life, all I know, God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. God is for me. He's not against me. I will hold to the plans he has for me. When I'm broken, he will fix me. I will call on the name of the Lord. All my life, all I know, God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. He's my heart song. In my sorrow, he's my hope and my strength for tomorrow. When the storms rise all around me, I will call on the name of the Lord. Sing it out. All my life, all I know, God's been good, good to my soul, mountain high valley low i'm gonna sing wherever i go i've got joy 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 deep in my soul i will sing 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 wherever i go all my life all i know God's been good, good to my soul. Mountain high, valley low, I'm going to sing wherever I go. So what did we learn today, everybody? Uh, not to touch poison ivy. Well, <laughs> yes, but what about from our story? Oh. Only, Only Jesus, Jesus can, can cure, cure my sin. sin. Let's say that again all together. Only Jesus can cure my sin. Let's pray about that, and you can say what I say. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear, dear Lord, Lord Jesus, Thank you for loving me so much. Thank you for loving me so much. I know you are the only one. I know you are the only one Who can take my sin away. Who can take my sin away. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive me. Help me to put you first in my life. Help me to put you first in my life. In your name I pray. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Kids Church Online. We'll see you next time. Can't wait to see you back While you are